Hey, it's Danny. Today I got the Vifa Oslo, which is a speaker I've wanted for like at least three years. <laughs> so excited and I got it and now I have it and I can tell you all that it's okay. It, I'm already over the honeymoon phase and now I've played with it a little bit and and I'm just in a committed relationship and there's nothing about it that's a, super exciting anymore. But there are some nice features about it that I wanted to share with you. If you just want a wonderful sounding speaker and cost is no object to you, this is a great speaker. In that regard, it's awesome. And it's beautifully designed. In fact, that's like why I really wanted it was just because I love the shape of it. I love the fabric on it. And I just, I don't know, I also really like yellow. Like for some reason, I just have a thing for yellow speakers and like orange as well. And so if you wanna know right away whether you should get this speaker, I have the answer for you. What do you think the answer is? It's a $500 speaker, of course you shouldn't buy it. There are plenty of other cheaper speakers out there. You don't need a $500 speaker. That's stupid, unless you have the money and you really want it. So that's just like my honest opinion to you as a person to person, don't do that. The pluses I would give the speaker is beautiful design, very good sound, really, really beautiful high-end crystal clear sound. Some of the negatives, which I actually have a few more of, awkward controls, singular button in the back to turn it on. So you have to like hold it. It has like an orange and like a blue and a green and I, I literally still don't know what they mean. When you only have one button and the way you control it is by either pressing it multiple times or longer, like that gets super confusing and it's not intuitive at all. That is a terrible control scheme. I get that you're trying to keep it minimalist, but no, no, you, you need more than just one button. It does feel very well built. It's some sort of aluminum chassis and it has a beautiful matte color on it. The only thing I noticed is like when I got it out of the package, it actually has a chip on it already. And then there's also like a few chips in the back, just real tiny chips. But it's like, if you're gonna pay this much for a speaker, it shouldn't have any imperfections. So it could have just been this one. It might not be the same at all. And it still performs well, but I mean, come on. You're... So I think the most natural competitor for this price range is gonna be the Tufton. Obviously one is way bigger than the other, but you know, size isn't everything. It's, it's what it does. Vifa has about eight hours of battery life reported. Tufton has 20 hours. This has got Bluetooth 4.0 and this has 5.0, but they both seem to do pretty well in range. I actually tested them out in my house and went to the other side of the house and I tested them and they did just fine. They both have an aux cord input, which is super awesome. The Tufton has IPX2, so it can get a little bit of water on it, but the Oslo has no IPX rating whatsoever. So you could consider it basically a very delicate little flower. So go ahead and get your headphones on if you have them. We'll do a quick sound comparison between the two. They're, they're two different speakers and they do two different things. The Tufton gets loud on the bass and this has really, really clear highs. There was like a part of the song where you hear like this That sounded so much cleaner and tighter on the Vifa. The Tufton sounded great, like it's still fine, but this one just had, another, it was another league of like clear highs. That it just sounded clearer. I would say if you really want to get this speaker, it's definitely a vocal, like definitely great for vocals. Maybe not such a house, like a house thumper, but like a low listening volume, like even just listening to NPR, like This American Life, that might be, this might be an awesome speaker for that. I know I said I thought it was okay, but kind of after listening to it, I like it a little bit more. Hopefully that helps you whether or not you were just interested in it or whether you were just thinking about buying one, maybe, maybe not. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, 
uh, if you do want to buy something, uh, be sure to visit my Amazon storefront. I get like a little bit of a cut from it and it just helps me afford to make other videos because I genuinely just like making videos and I, it's like fun for me and it's thrilling to have an audience. So if you want to help support that, um, please look down in the uh, description and I'll have some links to my store page. But otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, yeah, gold star for you if you made it to the end. So bye.